Hi everyone, Rob here again at Power Learning Solutions and now that we have gone through the paces of setting up our own course using the Canvas Learning Management System, our next step is to figure out how we want to share that course with other people and get students enrolled in the course. So the first thing that you want to do is test things out and see how everything looks from a student perspective and to make sure that you have everything actually published before you share out that link for students to enroll. So I can see, oops, I have a page here that's not published. You want to make sure there's a check mark next to that or students are not going to view it. You also then want to make sure all of your modules are published. If modules are not published, it doesn't matter that the pages are, students are not going to see them. In this case, there's a check mark next to everything that I want students to see, so I'm good to go there. So we've gone from the bottom level of pages up to the next level of modules. Our final level is to make sure that the course itself is published. If the course is not published, students aren't going to be able to see us. So the course status right now is unpublished. I want to change this to publish. So I'm going to publish it. Once it's published, students can now enroll. Now I want to see how students are actually going to be able to see my course and what it's going to look like uh, to them before they interact with it. And I can do that when I'm in uh, my editing mode as a teacher by clicking on this student view button. It's going to create uh, a dummy student account for you and put you into student view mode. You can see here that less options are appearing on my left side navigation bar as I described in the original uh, video on setting up your uh, basic course shell and your course settings. I eliminated some of these navigation items that I don't need for my students so I have less options here. My home page is here for my students. Uh, there's an assignment reminder coming up because I did set a date of February 28th for that. So, so far, so good. Everything is looking like I intended to look for my students. The next thing I'm going to check on modules. So this is showing up for my students. I cannot get into these links here right now because I have a prerequisite. So, but unfortunately it is letting me in there because... Uh, because I don't actually have a prerequisite set for the completion of getting started. So it's a good thing that I tested this. So I need to get out of my teacher mode and or my student mode, get back into teacher mode and set my prerequisite for marking getting started as complete so that it properly trips their prerequisite for unit one. But otherwise everything is good. So I'm going to leave my student view here now. Go back into my primary view so I can add my uh, my prerequisites, anything that I want in here, but that's fine for now. I'm going to look at the next step in actually sharing this course with my students.